Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. This video is part of the Paint It Pink challenge to raise awareness for breast cancer. In New Zealand where I live, breast cancer is the number one cancer for women and the third most common cancer overall. Each year, over 3,000 people will be diagnosed with breast cancer, including 25 men. So remember, particularly for the women, to get yourself checked every so often, as these sort of things are much easier to cure if they're caught early. I'll be donating all of the income from this video for the next month to the Cancer Society. This Paint It Pink challenge was set up by Diecast Outcast and there's quite a few Diecast channels joining in. I'll leave some links to them in the description below. For my car, I've chosen to customize this little tiny Husky Buick Electra. These are from the mid 60s. I'm not exactly sure the production years. It's quite a small, little car. It's based on a 1959 Electra I believe. Some genius at Husky had the brilliant idea of making it into a police car. I have looked online, I can't find any images of these in real life being police cars. This one is in fairly good nick, just a bit rough paint job and some missing chrome. It's pretty good considering it's not the sturdiest of models. There are four little rivets holding the base on. I don't even need to drill all of them out. As you can see, the bases don't always just pop off easily. The windscreen has a bit of a crack here. But luckily you can barely see it. So with the car apart now I can use some poly stripper to remove the paint. It's just painted on a thin layer and it will make the paint all wrinkle up like this and then you can wash it off with some water. Here it is after paint stripping. It's quite a nice, decently detailed casting. It's a lot smaller than your average Matchbox or Hot Wheels car. It's very thin. I'm amazed that it's lasted this long without having those front pillars caved in. I give it a clean up with the wire brush on my rotary tool, removing the oxidation and remaining scraps of paint. Here it is after burnishing, looking nice and shiny. 
Now I'm not going to be making it into a pink police car, so I'm not going to want the light in the roof. I'm going to fill this hole with some epoxy putty. I start by putting a piece of tape on the inside. This is a fast setting epoxy putty that sets as hard as a rock. I'm just going to cut off a small bit and knead it together well. You might want to use gloves while doing this. They sort of say to, although I find it too hard to work. It is irritant to some people though, so you want to be careful. I take a little blob of the putty and fill the hole. Now this stuff really does set a lot harder than the die cast metal, so after a couple of minutes when it's half cured I'm going to use my craft knife to remove 90% of the extra putty. Otherwise when I try to sand it down it will be sanding the softer die cast more than the putty repair. It's left another 10 minutes or so to fully cure and then I can sand it down smooth. There's a little flaw on the window frame at the front here. I'll just use a file to tidy that up. So now I'm happy with my casting. I give it a wash and some isopropyl and then it is painted with black primer. I'm gonna mix up a nice metallic pink for it here. I start with Vallejo pink. I then added a little bit of this purple here and finally some metallic medium. I didn't end up having to add any of the red there. It's thinned down with some thinner And then the car was given a couple of coats. I think this car really actually does look great in pink, as I'm usually not a big fan of it for cars. I add some details and finish it with a couple of coats of gloss clear. So while that's curing, let's move on to the base. The chrome on the inside is in great condition, but the outside is pretty worn out. So I'm going to be removing it all and repainting it. First of all, I pop the wheels out there. I use some hot water from the tap and a little bit of caustic soda to remove the chrome. It only takes a few seconds for the chrome to come off and then you can tip out the caustic solution and give it a good rinse. Here it is after the chrome is mostly gone. I give it a black undercoat. It's then spray painted with chrome. And finally I detail the grill with a little bit of black wash.
Now onto the windscreen. I don't want that light on the top of it, so the first thing I'm going to do is cut that off. It's in a pretty good nick apart from a few scuffs, so I give it a wash in some hot soapy water and then a quick polish. The interior now. This was pretty clean, I didn't even have to wash this. I start with a coat of white primer and then I painted it blue. And finally the wheels, I did contemplate trying to paint them with white rims but I don't think I could have done it tidy enough and it just would have looked messy. So I just clean up the hubs with a little bit of sandpaper so that they're nice and shiny. And so here are all the parts of our little Husky Buick Electra, repainted and ready to go back together. Before we take a look at the finished car though, let's just take a moment to look back and be reminded of what we started with. Our little blue Husky Buick police car with its play-worn chipped paint job and scruffy looking grill with missing chrome. Even though it's not the toughest car on the lot, it's definitely survived its beat on the force. So I think it's time to retire it and paint it pink. And here it is, our finished Husky Buick Electra Paint It Pink Challenge car. Transformed from a worn out old police car to a nice metallic pink cruiser. I'm really happy with the way this little car came out and I actually think it looks really great in pink. I did copy this from a car I saw on the net so you can probably find that and have a look. Remember to check out everybody else's Paint It Pink Challenge cars. I'll leave links to their pages in the description below. A uh, big welcome to all of my new subscribers and a massive thanks to everyone for the likes and awesome comments on my videos. A extra special thanks to my Patreon supporters who help to support the channel through Patreon. If you'd like to join them you can check out my Patreon page, there's a link in the description below. So thanks heaps for watching, if you enjoyed this video please like, share and subscribe.